Hello and welcome to 7 Sons Aptitude Prep. It's uh, good to have you back with us. Today we are going to look at the recruitment openings advertised by Intel for the 2020 BE and MTech batches. These openings are open for computer science, information science, electronics and electrical. And we have not one, not two, but 12 job roles that are currently open with the application links. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please uh, do so now so that you get to know the latest job openings, videos to practice on aptitude and technical, as well as cracking your technical and HR interviews. So let's begin. For people uh, who are new, we know that uh, Intel logos are uh, used here only for illustrative purposes. About the company, it's an American MNC uh, headquartered in Santa Clara, California. It's the world's largest and highest valued semiconductor chip manufacturer based on revenue. It's number 46 in the Fortune 500 list, which is uh, companies by total revenue and revenue in total 1972 billion dollars. Some of its products are in CPUs, microprocessors, uh, integrated graphical processor units, systems on chips, motherboard chipsets, network interface controllers, modems, solid state drives. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chipsets, flash memory, and vehicle automation sensors. So, uh, in essence, Intel runs our world. The links to apply to the different job roles are in the description of this particular video. Please do see and check the applicability of whether your branch is eligible to apply for a particular role before you go ahead and apply about the positions in this slide we talk about six positions in the next slide we talk of the other six so we have the positions on the left and the branches which are eligible on the right layout design qa engineer branches eligible btech or mtech servers or post size system validation engineer bachelors or masters in hardware engineering or electrical electronics engineering or computer engineering or computer science we have PDK development and QA engineer, so BE or MTech in electrical, electronic engineering and computer science. We have PV runs at QA engineer, BS or MS in electrical, electronic engineering. We have technical specialists, they want a degree in computer science, computer engineering, data science or a related field. Front end design engineer must have a BS or MS, which is B or ME in electrical engineering, computer science or computer engineering. So the links in the description are in the same sequence. We have these six positions advertised here. So those would be the first six links in the description. And the remaining six positions are these. AI video software application engineer degree in computer science, computer engineering, data sciences or related field. Hardware engineering um, field uh, branches eligible, sorry, would be the masters in electrical or electronics or computer science and the last four uh, positions are open exclusively for masters digital design engineer for mtech and vlsi uh, soc design engineer for mtech or me any branch software engineer mtech in cs or is and design automation and tfm engineer for master's degree in engineering in enc or computers i've also highlighted another token job position that is open but which is not for freshers i want to open this link and show you how the links for experienced people look and how freshers would have uh, no mention of experience given in those links so do not worry all these 12 positions are for freshers 2020 batch and you can apply to any of these positions depending on the branch that you are from let me quickly apply to one of these positions uh, we will like i said we'll give you the links to apply in the description do not worry about it. Let me just apply for a sample position. So one of the positions that will open would be the server SOC post size system validation engineer. Let me click on that. Let's quickly apply and see if there are any hurdles in the application process. So I have this opening here and on each of these positions, when you click, you will get this, this is again on the Intel site, so there's no third party involved and no payment involved for any of the job postings that we uh, share with you. So you have the job ID given here and the job category location. Please do check the location if it is suitable. The different uh, positions uh, might have different locations. And you also have the job type, which is college grad. 
and for each of these roles this was one of the roles server soc postgres system validation engineer you have the job description please read it and see if you are interested in working in this field once you read you'll have the qualifications so here you have bachelor's what this is put by us in uh, the slides so you'll have this in the slide against the respective position along with that they will have other uh, details given so these are desired skills problem solving skills good communications etc and it's a big plus if you have any of the following so these are all big pluses doesn't mean that it is absolutely essential to apply so you see all of this look at the job posting is in the description look at the qualification and see if you feel you can work there or you are interested to work there and they also talk about the group that you would work in which is for this job opening it is in the silicon engineering group and it tells a little bit about what the group does and then there is a simple legal disclaimer it says that there is no dis uh, discrimination based on any of these parameters and then you click on apply now when you click on apply now uh, it goes to this side so if you haven't registered firstly it says that you are above 16 years of age click on that and say proceed then you start off with the basics first name Vinod first name Prabhu email id click on the email id that you are uh, regularly accessing country you live in would be India click on I India and resume I have a sample resume that uh, I keep here it's for Intel I know I know I've kept it as Ramesh Babu so that I know that it's a sample resume file and then expected graduation month for 2020 batch I would put that as uh, August 2020 even though you some of you might be graduating in uh, September 2020 if you've already graduated if you're from autonomous or private institutions already graduated accordingly put the graduation month current GPA on 10 uh, let's say put as 8.5 so 8.5 or whatever is your GPA first percentage convert that into GPA and it says privacy and are you okay with Intel storing your data you say agree and click on continue some of these details you might also have to fill in the subsequent pages not to worry you click on save and continue be very careful when you fill any of these data points any errors here might lead to rejection on the application subsequently please keep updating your resume and keep it handy keep it in pdf always like you mentioned previously and uh, do apply to positions my sincere suggestion is apply to all positions that your branches make you eligible for do not worry about uh, the job role per se if you're interested in intel kind of the work that they do please do apply to all the positions that you are eligible so i'll create the account until i haven't applied until now if that is the case you create an account so i will do that i use the same email id and try to keep the same password for all the job sites that you try to go it should have, it should have a number it should have an uppercase lowercase and then a special character that would be the general condition given so i'll have a password like that so i use the same password on all the job sites I create an account then i would get an email there i say save and then it again asks for uploading the resume either doc pdf strongly recommend pdfs so i'll upload the same one that i did previously and that is done so it will scan it and then i click on next once that is done country is india given name you know family name prabhu there's no local given name or local family name address i click on this it's already filled and it uh, gets into the respective locations email address is already entered here country phone code is plus nine one phone number is already here so phone extension i don't have any phone extension and goes to next just see once you click a drop down has the correct option been selected work experience i do not have so i don't add there so education i will click on add so school or university for example i click as rvc degree would be bachelor's and field of study i'll enter that as electronics if it is there or computer science let me see if electronics is here i'll just search there's a lot of options i don't think uh, 
working. Let me just click on this and see if it searches. Yeah, okay, this is the button. I click. No, it doesn't search. I don't know why it's only available until A. Field of study, I keep it open then because uh, I can't enter. Let's say if computer science comes in. No, that must be a bug. So it's only there from, uh, it's alphabetical and it ends at animal husbandry. So I can't search. So it's okay, you can leave this blank or write. Let's see if it takes this. Ah, okay, there we get. So let's see if electronics comes in. I don't know why I didn't search the first time. So let me search. Okay, electronics comes in. So I select elect electronics and then overall result of GPA click as 8.5. And then I don't want to remove anything. If you want, if you're a MTech student, you add here uh, the place where you did your MTech and BTech. So you have two columns here, education, I'll just enter one. Skills, if I want to add, I'll enter VLSI. So let's say VLSI design, or if you are networking, for example, I want to see if that comes in networking okay so those are the two skills that i want to add languages if you want to add here uh, let us see uh, this is spoken language enter english and say it's not my native language but comprehension is advanced overall advanced reading all of that is pretty advanced speaking advanced and writing intermediate okay so i'll add that and if you want to Mm, add more languages you can add okay you add your native language and other details that you want to add here let me see if my native language is here uh, my native language is Konkani. it isn't there so I'll probably put my this is my language that is close to my native language so that's my native language comprehension it's fluent overall fluent speaking fluent this is something that I can confidently write fluent I probably written is again intermediate so I'll write that that's done the CV is uploaded here and you want to upload anything else you can upload uh, if you have your website your own website where you have done uh, showcase your projects etc you can add that here ensure that the format followed is this click on next and then are your current employee this is just to, to ensure that there is no conflict of interest current employee functioning no is your family partner functioning no have you received been employed by functioning no apple by intel no subsidiary no if it is a yes please do click on yes uh, generally most of these would be no worked on an intel related project as a supplier no did you sign any non-competition process no economic interest if you have any trade mass corporates no uh, do you want to maintain any secondary non-employment then no now this is important uh, understand agree that any false information here you should click this i certify and warrant that supplied are true here you click this and then secondly entitled to work in the country you say yes by virtue of citizenship if you are indian you want you applied for indian positions click on this ensure that these last two options you are careful when you're filling please indicate your gender if you want to indicate uh, you can uh, else you can say decline please indicate your citizenship citizenship let's say india click on search you get this citizen india and then that's it disability status no i don't have a disability terms and conditions you read these terms and conditions if you want and then click on next and you can review your information once again review your information from your basic information educational information skills languages resume and cv and click on submit once you click on submit it says congratulations has been posted you also get to see some new results that are posted today and what we have in this particular session and the links in the description includes the update as of today if you want please go to this link and search for jobs that are regularly posted now also i wanted to show you another job opening right to be absolutely sure that these are open for freshers let's click this and if you see this position which is an ic package design engineer even though it's just college grad here it very clearly says there's a new role which we have not advertised correct but i've just looked at this role ic package design engineer here it very clearly says you should have one year experience in the relative uh, in the related field so all of our 
links you can click and see all of them are for freshers the branches have been uh, specified let us see what email you get from intel this is the email that came in just now it says thank you for applying a job at intel uh, just a minute ago and then it says the position that you applied the job id and the date and it says that uh, they appreciate and they'll let you know if you're a fit and but they'll keep the information and very nicely they've said they will contact you for other positions that align to your experience and skill set. In case they find that you are not suitable for this position, they will retain your data and um, themselves match to other positions that might uh, be visible. So now uh, we wish you all the best to apply to these positions. Strongly recommend that you apply to all positions that your branches allow you to. Please share this video with your friends and the batchmates in different um, probably campuses and help all of them have a realistic chance of getting a job at Intel. Subscribe, share, like and comment. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. Uh, for all campus recruitment tips, please uh, visit our channel Sense and Septitude Prep regularly. Thank you so much. Please do post your queries in the comment section and we will clarify that. Goodbye.